Because I've got too many things boiling in my spirit that I want to share with us. So people of God, this is that very famous scripture that we always will read and say, for God's sake, I will restore unto you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the palmer worm, and that's this famous scripture. And the Lord said to me, go and show my people what I have shown you from the scripture. Do you realize that as we read the scripture, that the Bible began to talk about rain? The Bible says, uh, listen, I, I have given you uh, Rabasi, uh, uh, the former rain moderately. And then he said, I will cause to come down for you uh, uh, the former rain uh, and the latter rain uh, in the first month. Did you hear what I just said? I will cause to come down for you. Please show me the scripture in Amplified Translation so that my people can read with me together. The Bible says, and so rejoice, O children of Zion, and delight in the Lord your God for he has given you the early rain in vindication. And he has poured down the rain for you, uh, the early rain and the late rain uh, as before. Now, I return back to King James Translation. Now, notice carefully, for there to be a restoration, the Lord needed to alter the season. Did you hear what I just said? So restoration did not begin with what they got back. It began with a season that has changed. Can I say it one more time? Restoration did not begin with what they got. It began with a season that had changed. Did you hear what I just said? Now look, let me talk, tell you, give you, um, open your eyes to what the shocker is. He says, when it came to the former rain, that is the rain for the planting right when it came to the former rain god glory to god when it came to the former rain i gave it to you moderately in other words if you looked at the way the rain fell you shouldn't expect a restoration so i didn't give you the rain in abundance however what i did was that i moved the latter rain to the place of the former rain and all of them began to happen at the same time did you hear what i just said so if you judged your season by the rain that did not fall too much that is the former rain you are judging too quickly because right after the former rain the latter rain will not wait for its season is going to meet the former rain where the former rain is did you hear what i just said however the former rain did not fall big. It fell just moderately. However, God had to alter the season. Even when the former rain did not look like what will give me evidence. Even when the former rain did not look like where I should expect my harvest. There are some of you, the season that you are in, you are looking at it and say this is moderate. But the Lord said, when I want to act, I even will use what you call a moderate rain and give you an evidence that sounds like a lie. You're looking and say, Lord, these finances are moderate. The deals I'm sealing, they are moderate. What I am seeing is moderate. But God says, listen, you see that moderate season? If your amen were thunder, they are now being altered in your favor. I wish your amen were thunder louder than that. I say they are now being altered. They are now being altered. They are now being altered in your favor. They are now being altered in your favor. If you understand it, turn it louder. Amen. So, sir, understand that even though the uh, former rain fell moderately, it did not stop the harvest. Even though the former rain did not come in abundance, you still will have your evidence. Even though the former rain did not look like it, people of God, it fell moderately. Sir, there's a rain that will fall. We know that there's be, there will be a mighty harvest. You can tell your harvest by the rain. But this one, he says, it didn't even fall too much like that. I, it didn't even, I didn't even see the sign. It didn't even look like what will give me the harvest. But he said, however, when I saw the way this season was going, I had to command the latter rain to come and meet the former rain where it is. Am I communicating? But look at where it gets interesting. Allow me to run. And it says, I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. People of God, there are things that came here. Number one is what? Locust. Number two is what? Kankawa. Number three is what? 
caterpillar. Number four is what? And people of God, I am just going to explain them. And each and every one of them will just make declarations over them and that will be fine. Let me begin with Kankawa. People of God. I mean, Google is a friend. Kanka worms go for the birds. Did you hear what I just said? So, sir, they go for the birds. So, you can't tell that it will be a harvest because it was cut short before it became one. So, sir, when we pray for restoration, we're not just praying about what you knew you lost. We are praying about the things that you lost. You never knew was an egg. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So, sir, the canker worm goes for the box. Somebody looked at you and wanted to favor you. You did not even know because they did not tell you. But somehow, after a while, you left their hearts. Ayabo roko to balasha. Keredebe yadasakara. There were businesses that you spoke to someone about and they remembered you, you know what let me call this guy for some reason you are there saying nothing came out of it but you didn't have an idea that canker worm so when people i say restoration we we are praying for restoration of the things we lost we never knew we lost if you understand this, raise your voice and shall restore by fire. There are opportunities you lost, though. There, there, there are celebrations you lost, though. But you did not know you lost them. At the sound of your amen, let them be restored right now. Let them be restored right now. Let them be restored. 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 Somebody shall restore by fire. When they come, they come when things are just starting up. So the devil likes this canker worm mentality because he knows you will not take it seriously. But you didn't realize that the board that was eating, there were billions inside it. But you could not be bothered. You could not be bothered. Shebi is still small. Shebi is still, it was just one small thing. People of God, the meeting that did not hold. He had your next level in it. The clients that did not come back. Isabalashia was going to be your biggest breakthrough. Shabadia. But if your amen will thunder in this service, Ikabalashia, I announce, let it be restored. 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 Let your aim and turn now. Take your seat. Marakota Lebashaya. I wish I can stay on this matter because this is where a lot of people are. You're not concerned. Oh my goodness. Who knows where you would have been if we dealt with the canker worms? When your good news was starting, something went wrong. Shabadia. People of God, I move to the next one. The palmer worm. You know the palmer worms? They go for fruits. Palmer worms are experts in eating fruits. So when it has become ripe, when you are saying, God, this is the season I have prayed for. You see it coming. You're celebrating. Relationship you've been praying for automatically shows up. From nowhere. Agent of hell. From nowhere. This is something you have desired and said, Lord, this is, this is the life I want. This is, this is the kind of, from nowhere, Bama Wong comes to touch your fruit. Kaparadia. If I'm talking to you, raise your voice and shout fire. There are things you are currently working on. There are fruits you are expecting. If you're not expecting it, family members are expecting it. And the sound of your amen, any palm and war, 
that will arise to tamper with your fruits if your amen will turn the left fire answer them let fire answer them. Let fire answer them. Let fire answer them. Let fire answer them. Raise your right and say today. Any palmer war that has arisen against my fruit right now. Fire. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. Kanker one. Palm and warm. People of God, let me also let you know there's another one the Bible called is caterpillar. People of God, I'm sure we are very uh, we are very conversant with caterpillar. So I don't even need to explain it. So you know that if you find a caterpillar on a plant, caterpillar is eating leaves. And people of God, it will not make sense to you until you understand that the food of the plant. I mean, elementary, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, science will tell you photosynthesis and how food is supplied to the plant is because of the leaves. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. So when caterpillar comes, it destroys the capacity of the plant to stay alive. Because once the plant has no food, the plant Sir, understand that these ones, this particular caterpillar, is going for the life of the plant. He's not interested in your fruit. He's going for your life. Look at what I mean. Have you ever seen some people, when they're about to enter into their next season, they fall sick? They fall sick for no reason. It will now be trying to, people, when they're about to enter into a new, so it's, it's all about their life now. It's no longer about what they are looking for. Some people started with great visions. All of a sudden, they started having this excruciating pain at the back that will not go away for. So, people of God, they forgot their vision. They forgot everything. They for, and all they wanted to do was to fix their life. Caterpillar. People of God, things started working for some people. All of a sudden, they became diabetic for no reason. They became hypertensive for no reason. People of God, at the sound of your amen, any caterpillar around your life, any caterpillar around your life, at the sound of your amen, let it be broken by fire. Lift up your right hand, shout caterpillar. Shall fire, shall caterpillar, shall fire, shall caterpillar, shall fire. Let your image turn the louder. Take your seat. People of God, the other one that was spoken about was the locust. People of God, this one does not go for fruits, does not go for leaves, does not go for uh, plants, and all that. it goes for everything. It goes for everything. And people of God, they don't come alone. A locust invasion, if you have ever seen a locust invasion, you know, some of you were born in the city. If you have seen a locust invasion, you find out that when they come, they don't come. And people of God, if locust invades a farm, in five minutes, everything that is green there disappears. Am I, am, am I talking to someone? People of God, there were things that started. They just stopped. You are not seeing the fruit. You are not seeing the leaves. You are not seeing this one. You are not seeing the and the Lord said, Listen, if God was able to tell us how I he will restore, that's why I am asking us to pay attention to this. This is how he will restore. Sir, so the strength of the locust is its capacity to multiply itself before attack. I wish I can I can I can offload 
about this thing that I'm saying. People of God, listen. The strength of the locust is that it multiplies itself before attack. So all of a sudden, the negativity is growing. All of a sudden, it is increasing. All of a sudden, you're telling yourself, this thing used to happen once in a while. Why is it now happening every other time? From every other time, why is it not happening every time the locust has invaded? The only person that has ever suffered from cancer is my great-grandmother. Why is my sister suffering it now? Sir, it likes to multiply itself. Every locust invasion in your life. At the sound of your amen, I announce, let it be broken by fire. Let it be broken by fire. Let it be broken. 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 Let your amen thunder. Take your seat. People of God, God said, this is what you're going to find when I restore you. I'm, I'm running. He said, your flaws, it shall be full of wheat. And he says, your fats shall overflow with wine and oil. Listen, let me do an aside and return back to what I'm saying. Your flaws will be full of wheat. Then, as the scripture progresses, he says, your fat shall now overflow. People of God, from fullness to overflow. Listen, you have not yet experienced restoration if your measure is just full. Mm -mm. Because, sir, the reason why you have to overflow is not because God wants to waste something. It's because along the line, there were years of emptiness. So, if you bring back those years of emptiness, what you should be enjoying now is overflow. Did you hear what I just said? In case you think that there was no empty time, go and ask your mother, ask your father. They will tell you what they suffered. So, in restoration, there's what is called general. In one of the services, I'm going to tell you the patterns of restoration. There's what is called generational restoration. So, this is going back to time. I don't know whether you're getting one. what your grandfather lost, what your mother lost, what anybody connected to you lost, at the sound of your amen, it will be restored to you. I wish your amen would thunder louder. Take your seat. Let me say this. Please put this in one corner of your mind. In the season of restoration, Make sure there is wheat. Make sure there is wine. Make sure there is oil. Let me put it differently. Every wheat becomes bread because they make bread from wheat. So in the season of restoration, or a man who is positioning himself for restoration, make sure there is bread. Continue to feed on the word. Make sure there is wine. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Make sure there is oil. The ever abiding presence of God. The word, your joy, the presence of God. Once these three things are in your life, restoration cannot elude you. Did I speak to you? Rise on your feet wherever you are. Would you lift up your communion before the Lord? We pray over every liquid you have. He says this to be ordinary. Who shall we pray over every substance you have. It ceases to be ordinary. They become the very flesh and the blood of Jesus. See, as you eat of it today, whatever that is missing in your life has been found. Even if there were things that the canker worm 
but that he had eaten, they are being restored now. Listen, as you eat of the flesh of Jesus and drink of his blood, anything not working well in your body is fixed right now. See, communion services are so powerful. As you eat of the flesh of Jesus, any organ that is failing in your body, let it jump back to life. As you eat of the flesh of Jesus and drink of his blood, whatever that you thought you lost is being restored right now. As you eat of the flesh of Jesus and drink of his blood, a new season is opened over your life. The best of your years just began right now.